Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Friday, July the 15th, 2022, and this is episode 3,843. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, Victory in Jesus. Stay tuned. Victory in Jesus. Jesus has won the victory for us. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you a passage of scripture from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Then I'm going to share with you some words of one of my favorite hymns. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruption must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So, when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O Hades, Where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is is not in vain in the Lord. This is one of the passages of scriptures that I would often read at the graveside portion of a funeral that I was performing. O death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin. I was doing a funeral in South Georgia. I would call it the Piney Woods part of Georgia. And I was standing just outside of the tent where the family was seated. And all of a sudden, while I was reading this scripture, a big bee. Now, it wasn't a honeybee. It wasn't a wasp. It was one of those big bees that don't sting, but it it showed up almost like it was, you know, planned to be. And the people who were sitting under the tent, they were looking around, they were nervous, they were concerned. And then we all realized that this bee is not going to be a problem because this bee doesn't have a sting. The sting of death is sin. And Jesus took away that sin. So be thanks to God who gives us the victory the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. E.M. Barrett was born on December 24th, 1883 in Waynesville, Missouri. His family later moved to Arkansas. He received training as a music teacher and was a leader in developing gospel music. He was employed by Central Music Company, a publisher of shape note singing books. <laughs> Some of you don't identify with that, but I can do I can identify with that. And uh, in nineteen thirty nine he suffered a stroke. But after that he wrote Victory in Jesus, a powerful, powerful song. Listen to these lyrics. I heard an old, old story, how a Savior came from glory, 
how he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning, of his precious blood's atoning. Then I repented of my sins and won the victory. I heard about his healing, of his cleansing power revealing, how he made the lame to walk again and caused the blind to see. And then I cried, Dear Jesus, come and heal my broken spirit, and some sweet day I'll sing up there the song of victory. I heard about a mansion he has built for me in glory. And I heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea. About the angels singing and the old redemption story. And some sweet day, I'll sing up there the song of victory. O victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him. And all my love is due him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. Listen, my friends, we have already experienced the victory because of our faith in Jesus Christ. Live in that victory today. Father, thank you for the victory that we have in Jesus. That the sting of death, which is sin, has been removed. Help us to live in that freedom and reality today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great weekend. Till next week, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.